Welcome back, it is Thursday, that means acting analysis, Finimators, and today I'm going to take a look at the last episode of Season 7 of Star Trek The Next Generation. So this one's very short, it's just a little sequence, just like with the last one, I thought, why not? Why do something that's 10, 15, 20 minutes long? I can also do a quick little 3 to 4 minute clip, but why waste time? Let's get straight into the sequence. All right, they are in the holodeck. You have Troy and Worf. They're having a good time. They're talking about how things were sweet and romantic. And she tells him, oh, wasn't this great? And he says, yes, I found it stimulating. And she proceeds to tell him how awesome it was and romantic and cute. He goes, hmm, yeah, actually it was, yes. And then she continues and at the end she goes, so the only thing you can say, it was stimulating? And his reaction is this. Very stimulating. <laughs> that face is great. So he has that moment of, well, it was, and then he thinks, very stimulating. And I love this. And why do I love this? It's because of all the things he does while he thinks. These are the things that you can do when you animate, where you have lip sync. And again, this could be one person, two person. This could be one character that's off screen over the shoulder that you don't have to animate, really. And it's only one person. But it's the thing of a character listening <laughs> Actually, it should probably be like this, this way, into his ear and into the brain. But he is listening to what she's saying and then he has a thought process. And I love this, where he goes, huh. And you can see this in his mouth and kind of the shifting in his body. He's kind of, you know, I might say nervous or just kind of active. Like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I doing here? So it was very, and then he has, it's almost like he's forming thoughts and words without really saying them. So he has that on his mouth. And then you have this, you can see how he looks over, he thinks, and then he has this. He's got the straightening in his body from a somewhat of a C curve. He has somewhat of a arched back. I mean, he's very straight usually, but he has that little arch and watch this. Whoop, that little straightening. He has now formed his new opinion. And you can see that it starts in his body and you can see that little dart, little eye dart over, looks over to her. <laughs> this is what I love. So he looks over another dart and then look at this. Just a little activation of that, a little smile. Because in his mind, the answer is great. It's perfect. He knows what to say. He locks in. Look at that, no more eye darts. He has a bit of a head turn because that goes with what he's saying. But he looks at her and goes, very stimulating. And then look at that. Even then, it's funny how they linger on the shot. He has that stare and yes, looks down. It's almost like a little nod, head down and up. Because he is so confident that this is the right thing to do or right thing to say. And he goes, oh, really? And he goes, what? And then the scene ends. But this is something I want you to think about is when the audio ends and there is a break between this line and the next line. What can you do? How far can you push the character? This could have been just a long stare, 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 and then he goes, very simulating. Or it could have been a stare, and then just a little smile, and then very simulating, with maybe a little bit of a head tilt, as it was maybe a question. Or do exactly what he does here, where it's that little thought process and thinking, and then, yeah. And this goes into something else where you don't have to wait when you have your lip sync. You don't have to wait to portray and showcase the emotions when it's in sync with the line. Meaning that if someone, like in this case, they're finding something in their thoughts and then now they're suddenly happy. It's pretending it goes from confused to happy. You don't have to do confused and then happy when the line is delivered in a happy tone. You can anticipate, you can have that thought process and show the resolution of that process and show that in their body, show that in the face, so that you do something where it's kind of like, huh, and then, and then you say something where you anticipate the whole delivery, the happy delivery with that change in the face and or the body, and then you deliver this. Now it's again, it's very short, but I had that in my long list and I thought, why not? Why not show this? Also, I like Star Trek. Come on. So if you think that this was interesting and you want to take those ideas and that thought process and all that and put that into your shots and you want to work with me, I have workshops. They're always open. Link in the description with all the information. You can sign up at any time. And if you want to do that, make it so. And if you want to be up to date with all the things that I upload, then you can subscribe if you want to. Like and subscribe. You know the drill. But if you do subscribe, hit that bell button so you get all the notifications. And as always, thank you so much for watching until the very end. Short and sweet. And since I'm wearing this, I'm going to do the Picard maneuver. And for no reason, say engage.